The Simple Path to Wealth, J. L. Collins. There are many things money can buy, but the most valuable of all is freedom. Freedom to do what you want, and to work for whom you respect. It's not hard. Stop thinking about what your money can buy. Start thinking about what your money can earn. And then think about what the money it earns can earn. Look again at those people around you. For most, debt is simply a part of life. But it doesn't have to be for you. You weren't born to be a slave. If you intend to achieve financial freedom, you are going to have to think differently. It starts by recognizing that debt should not be considered normal. Everybody makes money, when the market is rising. But what determines whether it will make you wealthy, or leave you bleeding on the side of the road, is what you do during the times it is collapsing. Everything you want, is on the other side of fear. But the simple truth is this, the more complex an investment is, the less likely it is to be profitable. If you could learn to live on rice and beans, you wouldn't have to cater to the king. The lines between need and want, are continually and intentionally blurred. When you buy stock, you are buying a part ownership in a company. When you buy bonds, you are loaning money to a company or government agency. Ironically, a crash at the beginning of your investing life is a gift. In fact, any pullback in stock prices is a gift while you are in the process of accumulating your wealth. Wisdom comes from experience. Experience, is often a result of lack of wisdom. Spend less than you earn, invest the surplus, avoid debt. Do simply this, and you'll wind up rich. Not just in money.